I think it will be, uh, it's, it's coming quite soon. It will have immense benefits for, for humans and it will also have a lot of, of dangers. Well, why would you say it would be beneficial? Because, for example, an AI doctor could, uh, that, say, monitors, let's, let's take the, the, the classical scenarios that yeah. people talk about, that you go around 24 hours a day with biometric sensors on or inside your body, mm -hmm. and they constantly send information. So you're to, monitored. Hmm? From, you are monitored. You're monitored all the time. All the, time. The, the information goes to an AI doctor, maybe on your smartphone or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, which... Uh, uh, analyzes all this stream of information and monitors your health in a way which no human doctor can, can, it can even approach. And it can do things like diagnose cancer when it's still just beginning and it's still very, very easy and cheap and painless to cure it instead of waiting for a couple of years until it spreads and one day you wake up and you feel a bit of pain and you do, ah, it's nothing and it, it becomes worse and worse. You go to the doctor, they send you to all kinds of tests and by the time they find out, uh, maybe it's not too late, but it's certainly going to be a long, painful, expensive process to deal with it. Mm. So the promises are enormous. Also, the perils are, are enormous and not just to the job market. In, in so what happens industry. to all the regular doctors? They lose their job. Uh, depends. Okay. They, uh, they, need, they can reinvent themselves and, and change what they do. Certainly, if, if most of what you do is just information comes in, you recognize a pattern, and you make a diagnosis, diagnosis. Yeah. this is something that AI will be, will be much, much better than humans.